Hello, Richard. Well, here it is. It's amazing how few of these Slim K 6309s I see in here. And you just don't see them very often. It's amazing. They weren't made for very long, which is something that not... A, and everybody, of course, they focus on the on the cushion case models. These, they're just not seen very often. I, I can't remember the last time I had one in for service. It's been a couple of years. Your watch is original. It is not happy. Uh, it definitely needs service. It's not a happy watch. This is supposed to be a nice, even progression of signal that would give us usable numbers for amplitude and beat error, and it would tell us the health of the watch. This also sort of tells us the health of the watch, but the news is more dire. It means that it... We, we knew it was going to need service anyway, but it, this one, it really needs service. It really needs service. It's not a happy watch. Um, whew, hang on. So I'm going to, just for fun, I should have actually done this first. I'm going to, to stop it, I'm going to demagnetize it, because I should have done that before, and I didn't. See if we get any different numbers on it. Hang on. I'd be surprised if it gave us anything else. Usually demagging on a watch that needs service isn't going to do anything. I'm sitting here, I'm watching the numbers, let's see if anything happens. It's, I can look at the balance, it's still not happy. It's still not a happy watch. No, it's still, it's still very rough. Still starry night. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about that. Let's, would you stop with the wiggling? Stop it. It's just coming off like I'm just not organized today. Okay, original watch. You bought this in Germany in the military uh, in the 80s. This watch was made in 1985. Somebody tried to open it at some point. They put a big honk and scratch on the case back. Uh, other than that, it looks good. Yeah. Um, April 1985. It, the case is really dirty, and I cannot tell if these crown threads are damaged or just packed with junk. I can't really get this to screw down. Um, if the threads are damaged, it's possible that I can clear the threads. I, I created a tool that allows me to sometimes straighten these threads out. I'd have to see if I can't. Sometimes maybe a new old stock crown makes them better. If that doesn't work, um, and they are damaged, and a crown doesn't help, I, I do have a replacement mid-case, but it would not be cheap. Um, it's something that we would need to talk about. Uh, the watch is generally pretty good. Um, your lower mainspring arbor port is actually pretty decent. Pretty solid. Doesn't have a lot of miles on it, all told. Um, cosmetically, the watch is good. The insert is replaced which you probably know. The dial and the hands are original. This is the second type of loom, the later loom that was used when these came out. I love these dials because the red they use doesn't fade. Unlike earlier, their earlier 6309s, they used a red that faded like crazy. This red will stay good forever. It's weird. Inserts aftermarket, who cares? Uh, the handset looks beautiful, and note the beautiful German day there. It's a good watch. Just needs some love. That's really about it. I think the biggest question mark is the mid-case. And the crown tube. We'll just have to see what's up with that. Okay. Thank you so much, sir.